Today, I stand here to speak to you about the disgrace of the history of vouchers in America. They were invented after the landmark U.S. Supreme Court case Brown versus the Board of Education, which deemed public schools segregated illegal in America. They have invented to defy that decision by allowing white families in the South to flee to newly integrated public schools and take their, take their children to segregated private schools, taking most of public funding with them. While 99% of us still uh, see it as disgraceful nature of history, the truth is vouchers are still here today and still seem to serve the same purpose of segregating our schools, discriminating against families, and promoting a system of haves and haves not. Study after study in Arizona across America shows whenever vouchers programs exist, the communities, schools are more segregated by race, ethnicity, and skin income in, in, in any other area. That is why ESL vouchers expansions are so damaging to our kids and they claim to help the very kids in the same communities that hurt the most. Arizona has more school choice than any other state in the nation, including open enrollment, magnet schools, busing partners, and private schools. And yet, more than 10 years in existence, the number of families choosing public schools, both charter and their home district, is around a whelming 95%. Let me say that again, 95%. Time and time again, Arizona voters have stated to value their plain and clear voting message that they vote yes on bonds, yes on overrides, yes on Prop 301 and 208, most recently. And when we vote for our dollars to be invested in public schools, we're not saying that we want to invest in private schools so, um, subsidies, we're saying public schools. Having been, a been an advocate for families of color in Arizona for more than two decades, I know what it takes to support black and brown children. I know it takes full funded public school educations in their neighborhoods. Let me say that again, in their neighborhoods. Schools that accept and protect the individual's learning style, their personal beliefs, and their academic needs. Schools that provide busing, nursing, counseling, breakfast, lunch, before and after school care, financial and academic accountability of every classroom and every dollar. Fighting for civil rights means making every public school and every student a winner, not by manipulating with vouchers to create winners and losers. We can do better. We must do better for the future of our dependent, of our children, or depend on it. Thank you so much.